So, right now, inside there is the Hilux being painted as we speak a new color. So, uh, I might need to catch some of you up on what's been happening, what's been going on, where's Adrian been, what's been happening with Rome over landing over the past couple months, because things have been quite interesting. Okay, so it's been a while since I've chatted to you guys. It's been a while since I've made a video, almost two months since I filmed and probably, I think almost exactly a month to the day since the video went out. And it's time I fill you guys in with what's been going on. Um, at the moment, I'm currently at Bodyline and uh, for the past month or so, the Hilux has gone through a series of unfortunate events and uh, it hasn't been great at all to be honest i haven't really wanted to talk about it because i haven't had a lot of clarity on the situation and it's yeah i've kind of just been waiting to figure everything out but there is good news in the past week we've kind of figured a lot of things out we're making some serious progress and that's why i'm comfortable to make this video at the moment so let me get outside and i'll fill you in with everything that's been going on so yeah it's been a wild time and um, we've still got a long way to go. I'd say we at least another week to get everything sorted. But basically, you know, this is the kind of stuff that happens when you're prototyping a product. But what I can say is that all the companies involved really stepped up and took on this challenge because they could have left me with the vehicle in an absolute state. And honestly, it would have basically ruined everything. So. I'm really grateful that everybody kind of put in the effort to get the vehicle to where it is right now. They're gonna be, we're gonna be actually respraying the entire car. There's a lot of damage to the original paint from removing the wrap. So we've still got an interesting journey ahead of us, but I think it's gonna be really cool. I think the vehicle's gonna look beautiful. We've got some really top end technicians working on the painting and all of that stuff to get the vehicle just right. We've got BASF um, supplying some of their highest quality paints to paint the vehicle with. So I think it's going to look spectacular. Yes, we're going to be changing the color of the vehicle. So that's a whole another step there as well. But I think for now, it's just a bit of patience and I'll catch up with you guys, you know, once we're a little bit further ahead. So it is Monday. I'm back at Bodyline and uh, <laughs> they've been doing some serious work on the Hilux. As you can see, they've really been kind of getting at it with fixing a lot of little dents and things like that, whether it's from driving through the bush or any of the damage that happened from removing the paint. So we're down pretty much to bare metal in quite a lot of places. Um, and this is a big reason why we're doing a full on respray. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the paint that we're gonna be using. Um, it's from Glazurit and it is a 2K paint, which means basically from what I understand is two parts paint, one part hardener. And it means that there's no clear coat uh, and a base coat. It's just the, the actual paint, basically. So that means when you go through the bush and you get scratches and stuff, when you come back, you polish the car up and you're good to go again. And because it's a really thick layer of paint, you can't really polish through the clear coat, if you know what I mean. So in terms of the longevity of the paint and the vehicles in a, a, you know, living as a bush vehicle, I think it's going to be fantastic because I'll be able to give the car a good clean and it'll be back to new time and time again. And that was something that with the wrap that was on here was uh, a horrible experience for me. Because I'd go out to the bush, I'd come back, I'd give the car a clean and it would be stained with all the mud. Um, and that is one of the big reasons why we actually decided to pull that wrap off. Because in the videos and photos, it looked beautiful, but when you had to stand up close, it looked horrible. The car never looked clean. And that's also a reason why I'm avoiding a matte finish because a matte finish is incredibly temperamental. So I just think overall having a nice gloss finish, uh, a nice solid color, no metallic, I think it's going to be really, really awesome. But I let these guys get back to work. They've come so far already. We've just got a few last little, you know, tricky bits of the wrap to come off and then we should be painting pretty soon. So I'm back at Bodyline, it is the next week and over the past seven days it's been absolute 
chaos in South Africa. We've had lots of political unrest, rioting and looting and all sorts of stuff. But things seem to have stabilized a bit now at least and uh, we can kind of get back to work on the highlights. I think today we start prepping for paint. So that's quite exciting. Let's head inside and have a look. Feels like we've been at this point before, <laughs> but it's looking really, really good. The guys have actually fixed it up better <laughs> than when we did it the first time because I couldn't really afford much the first time. Um, so the guys have gone, they really have gone the extra mile here. They've panel beaten this whole vehicle to pretty much perfection. So I'm definitely going to have um, a higher end vehicle by the end of this. It's definitely the vehicle is going to look a lot better. And we just got those last few little steps to go now until we can really get going with the paint. I think the tub's still got to come off um, and the back of the cab and everything needs to be sorted out. And there's a bunch of really little fiddly things that need to be done still. But I'm holding thumbs up we're going to be painting this week. Alrighty, I am back at Bodyline now. It's been about two weeks since I was last here. Um, in the meantime, the doors have been stripped off and everything is now finally prepped for paint. Today, we are painting. So the guys from BASF will be coming through. We'll be mixing up the paint today. And we are finally going to be doing the color change on the Hilux. We're going to be spraying the internals first. So the bonnet in the door linings, the doors themselves, all of that stuff. And then what we'll do is tomorrow we will tackle the outside of the vehicle and get everything done and dusted. So let's get into the booth and start seeing how these colors are going to look. I'm pretty stoked to see it all happen now. And I've been, you know, planning this color. I've been <laughs> really deciding, is this going to be the one for me? But you know what? There's only one way to find out and that's to see it. But the color we're going with is Luna Rock. It is a TRD Pro color from Toyota in the States across all of their 4x4s. So it is a Toyota factory color. And um, we do get a chance of Africa on the RAV4. Otherwise, this is gonna be the only Hilux in the world in this color. So let's do it. I'm super stoked. This was nerve wracking. To see the paint mixed up and to actually finally see this color in real life for the first time. I was really hoping I chose the right color because this is permanent. Oh man, it looks, it looks really good. It looks really, really good. I can't wait for you guys to see this. Um, they're gonna get working on spraying the internals and stuff on the car as well. And tomorrow we're gonna hit the whole outside of the vehicle. I think it is gonna look pretty fantastic. I think I made the right choice on the color, but I can't wait just to see the whole vehicle piece together, I think that is really going to be what's going to make this really special. But yeah, we're going actually even more than what we were going to do before. We were going to go do a 2K, two parts um, paint, one part to uh, hardener. Now we are doing four parts paint, one part hardener. So this paint is going to be tough. It's going to be bush resilient for sure. Uh, it's going to be easy to maintain. So I think this is for the long run, this is the way to go for this, for this build. I really do. Anyways, <laughs> he's at it. Let me let him finish up there and then maybe we can have a look a little bit later. Over 60 days of anxiety would take a back seat today because now it was time to take the plunge and make it all happen. After being sprayed with a non-sanding primer, they lay down the new color wet on wet. And as the first coat went down, the smile began to grow on my face. But once the last coat went on nice and thick, that is when I fell in love. This was it. It's perfect. It is exactly, exactly what I wanted. And funny enough, it's actually the color I wanted from the very beginning, but I didn't have the cojones to do it. And um, with the whole situation, I just said, you know what, stuff it. Let's just go balls to the walls with this. I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble the vehicle and then I'm going to show you once everything's back together. So, going to give us a little bit more time. It's going to be worth the wait though. So, it's that day. The Hilux is done. It's waiting for me inside. 
it's time to finally put an end to this. The transformation from when I last seen it was huge. It's finally all starting to come together and I can get behind the wheel of my rig for the first time in almost 75 days. And everyone's effort has truly been worth it. The vehicle looks spectacular and it's better than I could have ever imagined. So thank you so much to the team at Bodyline and BASF for their dedication to the project. It's truly honorable and we need more companies like you in the world. I think the color looks incredible and it's quite a unique color. It really plays with the light and it changes many different colors. Sometimes it looks green, sometimes it looks blue, sometimes it looks gray. Um, so I'm really excited for, you know, the photos that we're going to see with it. How's it going to look in the bush and how's it going to look when everything's reassembled? So we've still got quite a long way to go. We've still got to get the roof rack on. We've got to get the canopy on. We've got to do a lot of different things. So we're pretty close, but we're not there just yet. So a few more days and I'll get to show you guys the whole thing looking a little bit closer to finish. But... We've had a bit of a situation that I need to sort out tomorrow. And that's why we've kind of pushed to get the vehicle ready a little bit sooner than we needed to. Tomorrow we're going and we are going to be removing the suspension on the vehicle. So I'll catch up with you on the next week's episode. And we can sort that problem out when we get there.